Uh, don't fault at least one money manager, Christopher Zook, if he says this is all too much, too much uncertainty, I'm going overseas. Chris Zook, give me your sense of where to go now with all of this happening. With all of this happening, we think that valuations are very stretched. We think that we need to find opportunities to invest in places that are not as expensive. So we want to be invested more in the emerging markets, but we want to offset those positions with shorts here in the U.S. because it's a valuation gap that we expect to close, and that's going to give us a great risk-adjusted return. Okay. Which countries do you like? I see on the screen Latin America, Asia, specifically India. Uh, this is the U.S. at the moment with the Dow down 40 is at session lows. That we want to be short the small cap index here, which we think is the most expensive right now. Huh. We want to be short the IWM, and we want to be long India, China, and also Brazil, because we think there's a lot better growth opportunities there, and that valuation gap that's dramatic and multi-decade wide is going to close. Would you just uh, buy ETFs that are specific to each country? That is what we would do, is we would buy the ETFs for those countries specifically, but again, shorting against those, the IWM, because that hedges us against a broad market sell-off, which we think could potentially happen in 2018. Here we go with the Dow Jones Industrials at a 90-plus point swing. Do you like anything in the U.S., any sector? You know, we like private equity as a general rule. We think the big are going to continue to get bigger. We do like midstream energy as well, as we think there's valuation opportunities there, and particularly in the green field of new development to keep up with the demand from the shale plays. Uh, we like both of those areas in the U.S. Great to see you, Chris. Christopher Zook of Kaz you. Investments. He's the chairman, the big guy on campus, folks. This certain loss here at the very moment is uh, focusing at Citigroup and the CFO estimating that the tax changes might not be so incredibly helpful to financials. That'll do it for the claim and countdown.